Hey, Nikki Ganjin here, and today I was able to interview Natsuko, a college student living in Japan, and her thoughts about what it's like living alone while going to college in Japan. So make sure you stay until the end of this video. And don't forget to smash that like button to appease the sushi gods of YouTube. Okay, hey, so what's up, everyone? Nikki Tangent here, and today I'm joined by my good friend Nasco. Nasco, thank you so much for coming on. It's always nice talking with you. Thank you. <laughs> thank you. So, I'm curious what's the big difference that you found between、um, being a college student versus being a high school student?、Mm, differences between high school and college. Or university has longer classes, more presentations, and more rules than high school. More rules, really?、Uh, um, at my high school, yeah, there are more rules. Ah,、uh, yeah. I'm curious, like, what kind of rules? Um, for example, cell phones were not allowed.、Uh, no、school. cell phones whatsoever. No cell phone. <laughs>、eh. And I'm curious, I've heard for a lot of Japanese high schools that you can't have your hair dyed. So you can't have like blonde hair, blue hair, pink、mm-hmm. hair, for example. How about for you, Natsuko, when you were in high school? Were you able to have、uh, different、uh, colored hair? No, I couldn't. So I dyed now. Okay. So now, since you're in college, you're able to dye your hair whatever color you want? Yeah. Oh, that's great to hear. So <laughs> imagine that's one really big difference, right? You can kind of choose、uh, the style that you want. Yeah, more free. More free. So I'm also curious. Free, for, freedom.、Uh, more freedom. Yeah, that's for sure. <laughs> And I'm curious for you as well, then.、Um, how about in terms of School uniforms because I heard in a lot of high schools in Japan that you have to wear a school uniform. And、yeah. how about in college? Do you have to still、uh, wear a uniform or no? No. Always my clothes. Okay, so you can choose your original style, Natsuko style.、Yes. <laughs> uh, that's great to hear.、Um, I'm curious、yeah. for you. Which one do you prefer? Do you prefer wearing a school、uh, uniform or do you prefer to kind of like choose your own clothes every day? Especially about school uniform. Yes. I want to wear it because it's、really? easy to go outside. I see. Ah, I totally understand that. So every morning you don't have to think of what to wear. It's like, ah, Today,、mm-hmm. just put on the school uniform and that's it.、Mm-hmm. You're ready. So, no、yeah. problem, right?、Mm-hmm. Yeah. Wow, that, that's really interesting because I talked to some of my other Japanese friends as well. And they said that, oh my gosh, in high school, I really dislike wearing the school uniform. I love、mm-hmm. wearing my own style now. But I completely understand for you, Nasco, because it's so simple to choose, right? And you're just、yeah. ready right away. Oh, that's great、mm-hmm. to hear. And I'm curious, what's one other big difference between high school and college for you? I can, I can stay up late and I can woke up at late. <laughs> okay. So, <laughs> what? So, when you say you can, you can wake up late in college, so is that because you can choose your own time schedule, right? Yeah. Okay. So, in、um, high school,、uh, yeah, go ahead. Yeah.、Um, we are taking online class today, so it's easy to access and there's no time to go to school. Oh, okay. Just put a button so I can sleep. No. <laughs> I see that that is very important. Sleep is very important as well. So、yeah. I, can, I can definitely see that, especially as a high school student, you have to go to school at a certain time. Then you have all the classes at a certain time every day. 
but yeah. as a college student it's sounds like it's more free for you yeah free. and you don't well I guess for yourself like you don't even have to get out of bed you could like you said you can just push one button and then you're yeah. ready <laughs> yes <laughs> that's great to hear <laughs> and I'm curious like since you are a college student now you're living the college student life in Japan uh, yeah how how do you become a college student? Like, what's the process? Uh, took an exam. I took an exam, and I used Japanese and English. So you, wow. So you had to take an exam first before you could enter college. Yeah. Was was it a was it easy for you, or was it a little bit hard for you? Uh, about myself, yeah, it was easy. Wow, that's great to hear. No, 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 no. <laughs> I have to. I had to make an effort. Make an effort at that time. <laughs> <laughs> but yes, yeah. Every student in Japan for private school, they have to. They have to use three subjects three subjects for yeah, the exam mainly. really yeah. i'm curious for private school. yeah for private school okay yes and public school seven 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 and subjects seven subjects for yes. wait so seven subjects to take the exam yeah maybe wow that is a uh, a I'm lot seven. that's a lot of exams so for every mm -hmm. single subject for english for math science you yeah. have to take an exam yeah yeah wow that sounds that is actually really different from canada where i'm from because mm -hmm. in canada we didn't have to take any exam whatsoever oh <laughs> but, for example toic yeah toic yeah, no toy yeah. or anything like that. But um, mm -hmm. like for yourself, you said you had to take an exam for math, for science, English. Mm -hmm. So many subjects. In Canada, we didn't have to do that. All we had to do was show our high school grades to the college or the university. Then it, mm -hmm. once they look at our grades, they'd be like, uh, okay, 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 you can come in. You don't have to take mm -hmm. an exam. But that that's really interesting for me because that's such yeah. a different concept. So I, I'm curious for you, if you had the choice, which one would you rather have? Like a kind of Canadian style university or more of a Japanese style university when you're entering it? Definitely Canadian. <laughs> really? <laughs> Yeah, but I know the content of university is difficult, maybe, in Canada. Yeah, that, that is true. I've talked to some mm -hmm. of my other friends, too, and they said that um, in Japan, that the classes are still hard, but they're a little bit more easygoing, a little bit more relaxed. Mm -hmm. But I heard from my Japanese friends who studied abroad in Canada that although it's Mm, kind of easy to enter a university it's you have to put in a lot more time and a lot more effort into the classes mm. so I think there's a li little bit of a difference there but thank yeah. you for sharing that I really appreciate it <laughs> and I'm curious like right now uh what uh so I am curious though right now what are you currently studying I'm studying English mainly. Okay, and that's great. My goal is to get high score in TOEIC, TOEIC test. Oh, that, that's so that a I really can great use goal. It in, future, in the future. Wow, that's really great to hear, Natsuko. So for your future, <laughs> you want to get a high score and become proficient yeah. in English. That's great mm -hmm. to hear. So if you don't mind me asking, so in the future, um, ideally, what do you want to do? I want to travel a lot. 
that's a really good answer, I think, because <laughs> English you can use basically anywhere in the world, right? Yeah. So that's really great to hear. So you want to gain a lot of experience going to different countries and experiencing that different cultures. And yes, that's fantastic, Natsuko. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm curious, like uh, right now for you, especially since uh, COVID happened, what is like um, a normal day for you for college? I'm taking online classes and I sometimes go to shopping. Uh, shopping, oh, that's great. <laughs> yeah, go shopping. I don't have any many opportunities to go out right now. Ah,、uh, yeah, that's because that's I、true. have online class. Okay, so for example,、uh, let's say usually、um, if it's Monday, for example, what would your schedule look like? Like, what time would you usually、uh, wake up? When was your first class? I woke up at ten o'clock, and my Monday's first class is going to have at、uh, around eleven. Wow! So eleven o'clock is your first class. Yes. Oh,、um, that's great! So you can sleep in.、Minutes. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so one hundred. Wait, one hundred minutes for one、yes. class. Wow,、yeah. that that's a fairly、yeah. long time.、Mm. It's so tired. I'm tired. <laughs> <laughs> I can imagine. And, and lunch break about one hour. Okay. After after that, I will take second class uh, at one thirty to. One th Wow. One thirty to three p.m. Okay, one thirty to three. Wow, that's long classes then, huh? Yeah, and after that, I have I have free time, and Monday's last class is going to start at a、uh, five p.m. to five five. Five twenty p.m. to seven. To seven. Oh wow!、Yeah. So it sounds like a very long day for you then. Yeah, Monday is busy. So you usually start from eleven a.m. and you finish around what time was it? Seven thirty. Seven o'clock. Seven o'clock. Wow.、Well, yeah. And usually, is it um every day for the most part? Do you have like a so is it three or four classes every single day then? Yes, three or two, at least two. Okay. Yeah. Wow, and everything right now for you is online. Is that correct? Yeah. So you don't have to travel. You don't have to get. You don't have to get up. You don't have to get out of bed. Like you said、mm -hmm. earlier, you can just push the button and then you're you're set, right? <laughs> yeah, I、oh. chose online class, but some students go to go to college school. Oh, okay.、So、our school has high flex class style, so whichever is nice. Good.、Oh, so you right now you have the option to go either in、yeah. person for your、yeah. classes or you can do it online. Yeah.、Oh, okay. Wow, that's really nice to hear. So、mm -hmm. I'm curious for yourself.、Uh, why did you choose to go for the online route? Ah,、uh, <laughs> it's easy to take a class, actually. <laughs> Oh, I, I definitely understand. Yeah. Yeah, you don't have to go anywhere. Don't have to get ready. Like spend a lot of time、yeah. preparing. That's great、and、to hear. And I can hear the teacher's voice clearly, and I can memo on the PC directly.、Oh, okay. So it's suitable for me. Oh, great! So it's even easier for you if it's online then. 
Mm, yeah. Oh, that's great to hear. And I, I'm curious then, like, um, since you are a college student right now, what do you think are the three things every single college student needs to have? Um, computer, smartphone, and a friend. Ah, oh, that's nice. So you said computer, smartphone, and a friend. So yeah. I, that, I think those are fantastic choices, but I, I'm curious, <laughs> why did you choose those three specifically? Why a computer? <laughs> Uh, computer, I have to submit my assignments and I use it for the dictionary. Okay, so it's very and, easy to use, very handy, right? Yeah. And, and sm smartphone. <laughs> smartphone is, uh, it's a basic reason, but smartphone is easy to make a friend and easy Ooh. to access where I go. Oh, I, yeah, I think yeah. I totally understand for that, especially how you said, like, make a friend, especially if classes are online, then I guess you can yeah, always uh, message yeah. each other yeah, yeah, then yeah. get the information. That, that, yeah, that's right. a really good point. So it's a very yeah. um, convenient tool to use. Yes. So. Yes. <laughs> and, you, and you said the third thing that every single college student should have is have a friend. Yeah. So mm -hmm. I, I'm curious, like for yourself then, um, out of all the things you could choose, so why do you think having a friend is like the one of the most important things you could have in college? Mm -hmm. uh, I met my friends for the first time maybe uh, after I moved to Kanagawa but and at that time I felt happy to to meet them because uh, every time is online was online yeah so it I'm really lonely sad mm. yeah yeah but because yeah. my friend is on school screen every time so face-to-face -face communication is dif uh, difficult but very important for school days yeah I totally agree with you Natsuko that having a friend especially when you're in college or just when you're in a new situation or new environment having that support to help you is really important to have. So I think those are great choices. Yeah. <laughs> and- Thank you. Oh, of course. And I'm curious, what are the three pieces of advice that you want, that you would want to give to uh, maybe high school students who are thinking of going to college or maybe mm -hmm. um, people who are just in the first year of college right now, what are three pieces of advice you have for them? Uh, first, going to a school where you can study what you want to study. Yeah. And second, don't be in a hurry to make friends. Third, do your assignment <laughs> diligently. <laughs> I, those are definitely good pieces of advice, especially that do your assignments diligently. Because... Yeah. I know for myself, uh, when I was in college, that um, sometimes it, I would prioritize like going out with friends a little bit more and then leave the, my assignments till later on, like at, until the last minute, then I <laughs> definitely agree with you. That's, that's not a good thing to do. And mm -hmm. like you said, be diligent. So that's, yeah, <laughs> that I think, Though all three pieces of advice are really great, but for me personally, that one resonated the most. I think that is definitely important as well. <laughs> so thank you for that. I appreciate it. Yeah. And kind of just um, going on and transitioning to a different topic, but for you, I know you recently moved out on your own to an entire different prefecture than where you're mm -hmm. originally from. So mm -hmm. I'm curious, 
right now, what's a kind of like life like as a Japanese girl living in Japan by herself? And for yourself personally, um, I'm curious, like what are some of the good points about living alone and having your own place? I can spend more time to my to I can spend more time to myself. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah. And I can choose the utensils, mm. uh, kitchen utensils or every every home utensils. Oh, okay. So it's fun to choose. <laughs> oh, that's great to hear. So like, for example, you can, like you said, you can choose your utensils. I'm guessing you can choose like what kind of background you want or a poster or whatever you yeah. want. You can decorate it by yourself, mm -hmm. however you like. So yeah. like complete freedom, right? <laughs> uh, that's great it's to fun hear. for me. <laughs> oh, that's great to hear. Yes. So besides decorating, is there anything else that you really like about living alone, like away from and or apart from your family? Any other good points? Uh, I can go back to my home at night. <laughs> okay. <laughs> wait, wait. So I think when you lived uh, with your family before did you have yeah. to be home at a certain time yeah and um, at least 11 or 10 10 o'clock really yeah so a little early then right mm, <laughs> early. <laughs> especially like on a saturday or a friday night I imagine you kind of just want to hang out with friends. Mm -hmm. So so you're saying like right now you have no curfew. You can come home at whatever time you want. Yeah. So I can spend time, <laughs> more time with my friend. Uh, that, that's really great to hear. <laughs> and so I'm curious for yourself then. Uh, living alone, though, it must be a little bit hard as well. What are some yeah. of the things you miss about living with your family versus living by yourself? My mother's dishes and uh. my mother's dishes. I miss my mother's dishes and the, the, mo the, most, the most lonely things is when I woke up in the morning, mm. there is no one to talk to. So uh. I... If I said good morning, <laughs> there's no mean. So oh, I see. It's a little sad for me. Uh, I definitely so understand I, that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and I'm it's, talking, yeah. I am talking on my phone with my friend who lives in, who live by by herself. Oh, that's great to hear. So you can have like yeah. a support network for each other then. Yeah, yeah. Oh, that's great to hear. And I completely agree with you. Like when you said you miss your mother's cooking her dishes, right? Mm -hmm. oh, I, yeah. I completely understand because like mm -hmm. it's not it's not just about food. It's about that connection with that person through food. So I completely mm -hmm. understand where you're coming from that for that and yeah it's the same thing for me like for me personally I really miss my mom's um, home cooking especially mm -hmm. especially oh what was it which one was it oh my mom used to make like spare ribs all the time mm -hmm. so delicious mm -hmm. so juicy so tender I loved it and even to this day mm -hmm. I still miss her cooking <laughs> mm -hmm. so I completely understand for that mm -hmm. I, yeah, I, I understand. And I'm curious for you then, since you're living alone in Japan and you told me before, like now that you don't have any curfew, you can come home at whatever time you want, one o'clock, yeah. two o'clock, whatever time. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah. I, I'm curious though, 
since you are living in Japan、um, by yourself, do you feel scared or frightened when you go out at night, or do you think it's pretty safe in Japan? Yeah, it's maybe safe, but you, we have to, we, we need to be careful. I definitely can understand that feeling, but I'm curious for you, like for walking from the station back to your place, for example, do you feel pretty safe doing that? Or is there, or do you feel a little scared? Or what's your feeling about that? Especially my place is. Lighted, so it's safe, maybe. Okay, oh, that's great to hear.、Mm -hmm. So, yeah, you great, so you don't feel scared or afraid going back to your place by yourself,、mm -hmm. then.、Mm. Oh, that's great to hear, then. Yeah, I think、uh, for me, like in Japan, even if I'm going out for a walk at one o'clock or two o'clock at night,、um, I feel、mm -hmm. completely safe. <laughs>、mm. And But if I did the same thing like back in Canada, I wouldn't necessarily feel so safe. I would probably be like looking over my shoulder, like,、oh, is someone following me? <laughs> But yeah, I definitely agree with you. Like, as long as like the street that you're walking on, it has lights, it's lighted up, then it really isn't a problem. So that's really great to hear that even、mm -hmm. when you're walking by yourself, At night, back to your house, you still feel safe. That, that's really great here in Atsuko. And thanks for sharing、yeah. that. And, <laughs> and I'm curious then、um, for yourself, then, what are kind of like the three most diff difficult things about living by yourself?、Uh, uh, it is difficult to make money. Uh, I can imagine, especially as a college student, too. It must be a little、mm -hmm. hard, right? Yeah, hard for me.、Uh, And uh, I have to decide my limitation by myself. So it's hard to me. Okay.、Uh, when you, what do you mean by limitation? Yeah, I have to, I have to woke up at. Early tom tomorrow,、yeah. or I have to have this money to keep. Okay. And what I, I have to decide what I eat for my healthy. Ah, I completely understand、yeah. that. So you have to decide everything, right? Yes. So, and you're responsible for everything as well, for like you said, for money, for waking up. For your health. Yeah. So yeah. your parents aren't there to kind of help you and guide you. It's it's、mm. your responsibility now. You have to do it.、Mm. Yeah,、wow. that's right. Yeah, I completely understand for that. Is there、mm -hmm. anything else that you find difficult、uh, living by yourself? Mm. Mm. Yeah.、Uh... When I come to here, yeah I'm really nervous to ride on train because I'm I was living in rural. Ah,、uh, yeah, that's right. Yeah. So it's hard to ride, ride, ride.、Uh, oh, ride the train? Train. Yeah. Oh, yes. I completely agree with you for that. Because, especially since you're in such a bigger city now, there's many、yeah. trains,、uh, they're going different、mm -hmm. directions. And one thing I didn't realize when I first、uh, came to Japan was that some trains, depending if you're taking local train or if you're taking、uh, like a semi express train, it doesn't stop at every single station. Sometimes it <laughs> skips stations, right? Yeah, yeah, right. So, yeah, I completely understand I, how you feel about, like, oh my gosh, how do I choose the right train to get on? Yeah, so I miss a lot of trains. <laughs> But <laughs> you made it back to your apartment, so you must be getting a lot better now.、Mm, yeah, better, better than before, <laughs> I think. That, that's great to hear. 
Mm-hmm. Same, same for me as well. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so yeah, I definitely think that is definitely one of the bigger things. Like you said, transportation in a bigger city is a lot mm-hmm. harder to kind of uh, figure out and to commute in. And is there anything else that you find like kind of difficult right now that you didn't before live since you're living by yourself? Mm. So you said uh, money, yeah, money and food, transportation. Mm. Uh, I thought new new traditions. I have to have new traditions. Ah, the mm. the food balance is important. I I found that. Oh, yeah. okay. When, so when I, nutrition. When I living, yes. So. Oh, okay. So I, I'm curious. You said nutrition is a little bit harder for you then. Then I'm curious for you. What do you usually eat? I usually eat natto and rice. So. Oh, that sounds pretty healthy. Healthy, <laughs> healthy but um, I want to have more more vegetables or more fruits but it's expensive so i couldn't buy it oh i see (laughs) yeah wow but good good for you i'm sorry i sorry. go ahead (laughs) (laughs) i'm living by myself so if i bought if i buy big big food big big Oh, so Make, like a large size or large container large or something. Size, yeah. yeah. Large size. I couldn't use it. Oh, um, ah, because it, it's only you. <laughs> yeah. And it's become really bad, bad smell. And <laughs> so, yeah, I have to pay attention to it. Yes, but, I completely agree with you. Like uh, for myself too, like just recently, um, I bought a lot of Parmesan cheese, like a lot of it. And I don't use it every day. So Mm -hmm. I found like, I checked this morning. It's like, I looked at the day. It's like, oh, it expired six months ago. (laughs) Oh no. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I understand the feeling. Yeah, but I, I think for me, I kind mm-hmm. of look at the, the expiration date. It's like, is it still okay? Maybe I can use it. <laughs> so 50-50 chance for me. Uh... <laughs> Don't do that. Don't do that. Oh, okay, okay. Definitely, if you, if you can do it, be safe. Mm-hmm. And for mm-hmm. all the viewers out there, just be safe and get a new one. It's the easiest solution. Uh, okay. <laughs> And I, I'm curious for you then, um, since you are living by yourself and yeah. especially um, as, a, as a female, as a woman as well, is there any special advice you would give to other females who are maybe just starting out living by themselves? Uh, for women, yeah. don't hang, hang your underwear outside. Really? Underwear, lingerie. Oh, yeah, I understand that. Uh, why? Why? Uh, if it's, it was found, it, if it's fine, found by someone, uh, someone thought uh, there, were, there is a woman. A woman oh, okay. It's dangerous, and that's my mother's thought. And oh, may- that's good advice. May- maybe a lot of student who is uh, a lot of girl girls have to do that and doing right now. Ah, uh, yeah, I I think that is definitely good advice. I heard it's because if you only have, or actually, I heard like from some of my friends as well that not only do they do that, but they also hang if they're if they're single and living alone, that they also hang out like, uh, for example, men's underwear, like boxers, just, mm-hmm. just as a precaution, because then someone might think, oh, she's living with 
her boyfriend. Or mm. So I think, yeah, definitely just not hanging that up and maybe doing it in a separate place. That's really good advice. And thank you for mm. sharing that. Appreciate it. <laughs> so I'm going to mm. ask you some random questions. Um, just the first thought that comes into your head, uh, just say it out loud. Uh, okay. Okay. So are you ready? Ready. Go. Right. Okay. <laughs> okay. So first one, who is your favorite Japanese singer? Uh, back number. Okay. And who is your favorite Japanese um, actor or actress? Uh, Sasaki Nozomi. Uh, nice. Good choice. Good choice there. And what is your favorite food? Uh, chocolate. I agree with that choice. All <laughs> chocolate is, is delicious. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> yeah, me too. <laughs> and... Last question then. What is your favorite movie? Titanic. Oh, very romantic. Good <laughs> choice as well. Anyway, Natsuko, thank you so much for coming on. Really appreciate it. And hope you have a great night. <laughs> <laughs> thank you. Thank you. So let me know in the comment section down below what your thoughts are about college life in Japan or about living alone in Japan. Let me know in the comment section down below. And finally, if you want exclusive Japanese sweets delivered right to your door, then you definitely have to check out Japan Candy Box. With Japan Candy Box, you get free worldwide shipping just by clicking the link down below. And until next time, everyone, stay waku waku.